This month, I have 10 more useful websites that you wish you knew about earlier. As usual, these websites are in a wide variety of categories, so you just might find a few useful websites here that work great for you. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is Taste Dive, which can help you discover new movies, TV shows, music, books, authors, and games. The site is simple to use. You just type in something you've liked in the past, and it'll show you similar content. I'll do an example. One of my favorite TV shows right now is Peaky Blinders. In the banner, I'll select Shows, and then type Peaky Blinders. Now it'll show some recommendations. If you want to find out more about one of the recommendations, just select it, and down below, it'll give you a description. With TV shows and movies, a trailer will often be available for you to watch. If you want to see what's popular right now, you can check out their Trending Now section to discover new stuff. If you create an account, which is free, you can like or dislike the things you discover on Taste Dive and find other people with shared interests so you can keep up with their discoveries. Up next is Send, which allows you to upload and encrypt large files up to one gigabyte. The service is offered by Mozilla, the makers of the Firefox browser. Send can be used with any browser. Here's how it works. You could either select a file from your computer or drag and drop a file into the screen. Once that is done, select Copy to Clipboard. All you have to do now is paste the link into any composed email and email it to someone. Each link created by Send will automatically expire after one download or 24 hours. Terms of Service Didn't Read is a useful service for those people that don't like to read Terms of Service agreements. As we all know, almost no one really reads those agreements before we agree to them. On their homepage, you could use their search bar to find a company quicker, or you could scroll through their list of some of the more popular websites. You'll see a rating to the right of their name. Sites are rated from Class A, which is very good, all the way down to Class E, which is very bad. If you select More Details, you can get the highlights from their service agreements. You may just want to check out Terms of Service Didn't Read before you agree to any agreement. Hackaday features articles each day about hardware and software hacks, mods, and do-it-yourself projects. The variety of projects is quite large. One that was featured recently was the touchscreen coffee table. Like most projects, they'll give you a description, details, they'll give you the files for download, along with the components you'll need before you can start the project. Hackaday is a great site if you're looking for unique and interesting projects. Scam Awareness is a consumer awareness site that provides tools and information about scams. Its purpose is to educate Americans about scams, but can also be useful for those living in other countries as well. If you go to their common scam section, it will list several types of scams. If you select one, I'll select the romance scam, Listed below, it'll give you more details about the type of scam. And below that, tips to protect yourself. Udemy is an online learning platform that many of you have recommended in the comments in the previous videos. It's aimed at professional adults. They offer a ton of courses for development, design, business, and a whole lot more where you can learn at your own pace. In addition to the other educational sites I've mentioned in the past, Udemy is another great source for learning. Fiverr is great for those that don't have time to learn a new skill or would prefer somebody else do their project for them. The services on Fiverr start out at around $5 per service and go up from there. BLD from NZXT is a company that offers pre-built PCs based on your gaming needs. The simplest way for me to explain BLD is to show you. Select Start Now. Based on your favorite games, budget, and their recommendation engine, they'll choose the perfect PC for you and ship it within 48 hours. Select Build It. Now I'll choose three games. I'll go with Overwatch, Metal Gear Solid 5, and Skyrim. And then select Looks Good. Now select a price range. I'll go with $1,500. Now it will show a recommended PC build with the frames per second for those games I selected earlier with a 1920 by 1080 p resolution using the game's highest graphic settings. From here I could select Configure, which will show upgrade options along with the pricing, or I could select Buy Now 
to purchase this computer. You also have the option to select a lower price or higher price. BLD is an interesting site to try out if you're planning to buy a new computer. Next up is EasyBib, which is a great site for generating citations for those of you that are still in school that still have to write essays. The formatting options are MLA, APA Chicago, and many others. You have the options to cite a website, book, video or film, journal, or database. I'll demonstrate by getting the URL for this popular science article. Then I'll select the website heading and paste the URL and then select Cite It. It shows that it found the article, and then select Cite This. It'll show the information that it found, then select Continue to the final step. Sometimes it'll need additional information. For example, here, it doesn't know the name of the publisher. I happen to find it, so I'll paste it right here. And then scroll down and select Create Citation. And now you have a new citation which can be added to your Works Cited page. Using EasyBib is quick and easy. I've saved Cordify for last for you musicians out there. The site lets you turn any music or song into chords. In the search bar, you can search or upload any song from your computer. I'll do a search for Enter Sandman and then select the song. I won't do this, but when you hit play, the song will start playing, showing you the chords for that song on screen. And you have three options for guitar, ukulele, and piano. Cordify offers various pricing plans, starting at $4.99 per month. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you know of an interesting website that you think would be beneficial for others, let me know in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, tap that subscribe button and bell notification icon for more great websites and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.